So we've got an upcoming event, the big Worcestershire garage sale taking place on the 8th of June. And as we did last year, Kath and I are getting together, putting a bit of a series of videos together to help people who are planning on taking part in the big Worcestershire garage sale. Um, we'll stand here, I think, Kath. That's probably a good idea so people can remember what the, <laughs> the date, date is going to be. Um, so yeah, we're doing a four part series. And this one, this is all about top tips for after the garage sale. So I'm asking Kath a few questions. She's helping as we go. She owns a business uncluttered by Kath. So first question for you, Kath. What are some alternative methods for selling unsold items after a garage sale? So you've got your obvious ones, Vinted, um, Gumtree, Facebook Marketplace, eBay, depending on obviously what the items are. We had a chat earlier about maybe something like Fortwich Rugby Club could maybe offer us some space and we could do a bit of a kind of post garage sale car boot for anyone who's got stuff left over. So that's also an option. Yep. Um, and just generally like, yeah, getting them sold or if you really can't sell them, then there comes a point when you do just have to say, it's going to the charity shop. It's a very good place for it to go to as well. So that's your backup plan. Charity shop last, but um, Vinted, those websites, I think they, I see a lot of people on those websites. It seems to really work. And as Kath said, we've got a great relationship with Deutsche Rugby Club. They do now hold car boots. Um, they'll be probably kicking off around the same time as our Big Worcester garage sale. So I'm sure we can get a bit of a deal with them, get Craig at the club to help us out and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get a date together for us to go and sell our stuff there. So I'm sure we're going to get asked to do it for a third year, but what recommendations or what advice could you give someone to prevent them from accumulating more stuff, more clutter after this garage sale? So firstly, I suppose it's an obvious one, but don't buy unnecessarily. You know, if you're an impulse purchaser, try and rein those impulse decisions in. Yeah. Think about whether you really need something rather than just because you love it. You might need to have a little bit of a strategy, so I'm not saying we all want our lives to be completely like planned out, but maybe just every week commit to kind of a 15 minute quick glance round is the stuff that we could actually sort through, we could take somewhere. Um, one rule I read once that was really quite interesting is like the touch it once. So if you're going to move something because you think it's in the wrong place, don't just move it to another room, actually put it where it should go. So right. either put it in the right place, put it in the bin, put it in your box of stuff that you're going to take to the tip. But if you kind of touch it once and then you touch it again and touch it again, actually all you're doing is just avoiding the decluttering option. Makes sense. Makes sense. Super duper. Thank you. Okay. So, Kath, another question for you. How can people safely dispose of their things that they didn't get to sell at the garage sale? So we talked about obviously you could try and sell them, but there might be times when you just think, you know what, there isn't the chance to sell anymore. So. You've got to think about what it is. There are things like homeless shelters, women's refuge, hospitals. Um, obviously, they might take toys, clothes, books. Um, there's also quite a few nice little charities online that I found that take things. So there's something called Pens for Kids, where you can send if you've got loads of extra kind of crayons and pencils. Yep. There's things called the Teddy Trust, where you could send obviously soft toys, which again, I know when you've got young kids, you tend to accumulate a lot of those. And actually, sometimes it's really nice to think you're giving back in a good way. Oh, great. Great idea. So then one more question. Could you offer any advice on how you could repurpose any unsold items? Yeah, so things like upcycling is always a great idea. So, you know, you might have some boxes or storage boxes that you've used in a playroom or an office that you decide to replace or you don't need. So those could just get used in the garage to store things. Furniture, I think you have to think again, don't always throw it away. So if you've got bookcases, could they be used in the garage? You know, it doesn't have to just go straight to the tip or could you donate it again to somewhere that might actually need that item? Um, so yeah. Cool. So Big Wooster Garage Sale, you've seen the signs, 8th of June, and this is part of a four piece series. There's others on our news feed. And if you have a look, scroll through, you'll see some other advice from Kath, Uncluttered by Kath. Follow her on Instagram.